Hey there, this is K4A, knowledge for all educational videos and tutorials. Today we will see how to save, export Game Maker Studio 2 project and uh, why uh, those things are um, important to uh, take care because uh, as I have told you in a previous video, um, there will be a couple of different file formats in uh, game maker so uh, some of you can be confused about that or scared if um, you save a lot or export or import or um, get files from other people or download them and so on so it can uh, get messy really fast uh, in previous video we saw that this uh, um, folder uh, which uh, was created when we created new project is very very small and if we uh, open that folder we can see what what's in it, it there is this um, yyp yoyo project uh, file uh, which is actual game maker studio 2 project type of file and we have rooms options and data files uh, we have rooms because uh, you by default on have one room already created by Game Maker Studio uh, for you. It's uh, room one, and you will always have that one by default in your projects. Uh, that's uh, because Game Maker uh, suppose that you will have at least one level, at least one scene room. Uh, but objects and sprites and so on uh, are empty, so I don't have those folders. Th these folders you don't want to. Uh, delete and create anything in it uh, because it's uh, created by Game Maker engine while you are working in it. It's just for um, uh, you can uh, you can browse through it and see what's in it, but it's not supposed to. You're not supposed to change it uh, uh, while you're not working uh, in Game Maker. So while I'm working here in Game Maker Studio, Game Maker will make those changes for me here in folder and I can show you that uh, simple uh, here like for example I, I don't have sprites or objects uh, folders here but when I that's because I don't have those in my game but for example if I create some uh, object it doesn't matter it can be empty object uh, um, object one and I go again to my folder you see how this folder here was created by Game Maker, and uh, same will happen if I uh, create sprites and so on. Uh, uh, the new fo folder will be created here by Game Maker, yeah, sprites and so on. So uh, anyway, if you uh, this. Uh, Today we are going to learn how to save and export and what's the, the uh, difference. So for example we have made some kind of changes here and um, I need to stop here uh, with working. I have to go out or uh, oops or whatever and um, I want to shut down my computer so I need to save my progress. So it's simple as a, a file save project and my project will be saved with my progress so far or if I want to make a new copy different one uh, for example if uh, I uh, have uh, invented some kind of uh, game mechanics new game mechanics or feature or I am um, I'm ready to make some kind of changes which can uh, destroy my game crash it or whatever I can save my project as uh, testing GML uh, 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 version uh, 2 or whatever I want to do that but it's it's possible that's what I wanted to uh, show you with the save project test so file save project test and you can make uh, multiple uh, different copies of your uh, game so uh, some people do that often I don't I don't uh, and they do that on um uh, time basis for example uh, every couple of weeks or months or so on they uh, make some kind of backups or whatever so you can make backups like that making uh, saving new 
versions or project as uh, but uh, what happens when I click on this export export project when I want to export my project uh, the problem is it's not a problem it's a it's a feature that uh, my file now becomes YYZ uh, so what is that that's uh, I think it's I'm not sure but that's how I remember it um, that's Z for zipped that's that means your project will be zipped so uh, you do that when you want to send your uh, game files to someone else to test it or uh, uh, work on it develop and so on so it's not something you uh, exporting a game but just exporting a project for someone to work on like your team made game designer art designer or whatever so uh, or again if you want to make a backup and so on so it's just much cleaner than uh, project files because you won't be able to see uh, in it you won't be able to uh, click on it to uh, browse through folders and so on so it's like uh, more compact more uh, uh, like sealed and you uh, are that way you um, should be uh, protected from making some kind of changes changes or mistakes on it so I will save this as testing GML or YYZ and um, yeah uh, now I have that one too and um, again uh, my project is here in my folder testing GML YYP that's my project and all of those folders are in it so if I for example make some kind of yeah I can show you that and uh, that's it if I for example make some kind of sprite here um, sprite um, uh, just a simple one it doesn't matter uh, red paint okay um, uh, that sprite will show up here in my sprite says uh, PNG image which I can open and see and so on so uh, or copy paste it and send it to my uh, art designer or something like that uh, but that won't be able I won't be able to do that with my uh, exported YYZ so there is a different difference between uh, YYP which is a project and YYZ which is that project but now it's zipped Z as zipped YYZ zipped and YYP uh, raw project uh, that's it for this video and again uh, although this um, sound maybe some of those uh, sound uh, not so important or, or stupid or whatever uh, the problem is that um, uh, we will see that in next few lessons uh, videos uh, that you will uh, get those files uh, from uh, Game Maker Studio, from their marketplace, asset store, from other people and so on so you will just have to uh, know how to handle them, how to export, import and so on and uh, this is not the end, there, there are a couple of more videos coming because uh, there are uh, different videos, different sorry, uh, file formats and extensions in uh, Game Maker Studios. So, um, lots of stuff there. See you in next video and thanks for watching.